Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aquarian, welcome to your mid-month reading. This will be for the second part of September. Two other weeks from the 15th to the 30th of September. And yes, on the 17th, I am recording this reading since I been very much inclined to do it on this new moon in Virgo. But let's hear Aquarian, what we got for you and what's your energy. And as well, just to not forget, first thing first, this reading has an extension. At the end of this reading, keep up with me. We'll choose a few zodiac signs. We'll look into their energy and, of course, how they are related to you, what the dynamics are between you two. All right, loves. Sun, moon, rising signs and Venus signs for all of you. Let's hear what the oracle speaks to you. We have solitude in silence, peace prevails. For some of you, you are seeking peace or you're very much into that energy like, I want to be, you know, left out to be in my energy. It's like a recharging energy. It's like you, you feel comfortable as you are where you are. The next one, we have watching clouds. Lay back, rest and relax. It's a very much needed energy and rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. I feel here there is a very much an alignment energy. Like you need this time for yourself to realign your energy or recharge your batteries. Fogged in, go slow and take your time. Definitely. I feel here it's kind of like, you know, it's not a completely pause into your life or in your energy, but it's kind of like, I feel like this is the line, the fine line I cannot cross. So at this time, I just need to stop a little bit and then find where I am, what I am, how I am and where to go. Which I definitely see here, there's an Aquarius who, who knows when to push and who knows when to start. It's like, I do see my limits. This is all about limits in here. But let's see here, Aquarius. And for some of you, Aquarius, there is a lot of blessings coming to you in different ways of shape and form. And slow and control, you definitely will see them coming in. All right, loves, let's see here what the spirit wanna share with you. And of course, you know, if you really enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. And if feedback is very much appreciative and very much valuable to me and for all of us who are in this spiritual journey. Aquarian, let's see here, loves. Ace of Cups. Seems to me like comes some good, loving blessings towards you. Tower, love at first sight. There's coming here kind of, you might feel it's unexpectedly, but it is coming. Magician, nine of wands. You might resist it because you might feel like, uh, I'm not sure it's coming on the right way or not. Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy here. But you feel like it's it's quite a, not the right time. But you, you manifested something. You manifested. There's something here you... You might feel like... I did this, but I didn't expect it this way. It's like something here comes like not how you expected it. And sometimes that's the, the best way. That's the best way. And it's kind of like you feel like your life was great or you feel like you were taking things slow and boom, comes up. And it's with this nine of wands, it's like, I don't know what to do with it. Definitely here, let's see. Empress. Libra, Taurus energy, four of 
Swords, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Movement, Jupiter, Sag Energy, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Ten of Swords. All right, we have Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. What I feel here, and as well, we have two Nines. There is definitely here the limits, the boundaries, the limit, the limit line. And I feel here definitely here I'm, I might speak with a single parent, mother or father. And you, you could work on something very eagerly. And now it's like, yes, you know, was quite a long and heavy journey. And you, you need some rest for you to move forward, for you to be in a stable energy. Because if you tell, oh, you know, I just like, you know, lay down a little bit and then start again, that will be even harsher for you. So definitely here, you, you gotta go slow. Take a rest and relax. It's kind of taking care of yourself. Because the universe, yes, is giving you new opportunities is pushing you forward, is moving you forward, it's helping you to move forward. But it's actually, it's putting that energy, it's like cautioning you. Take some time. It's like, don't push yourself too hard. It's like somebody here for an Aquarius who works hard or works like a lot there is angels, archangels, or even past people in your life, people in your life who passed on the other world are, um, are watching you and it's telling you now that yes, there's a time for you to, to take some time for yourself and recharge, definitely here, okay? Let's see here, because I definitely see here, for some of you, you might work very, very hard. Everything is on you. And again, the, the strongest messages here is telling you, if you need to rest, acknowledge that. Don't trick your body or something, because will be consequences here. And that will not be very great ones. So if you want to be productive or in a better shape, better form, you need to take care of you. The universe is telling you, yes, I will help you to move forward, but you need to take some time because it's for your own, own best interest, for your own best stability, okay? Let's see here, 10 of wands, what speaks here? Eight of swords. For some of you, you, you feel like, you know, I have my own obligations. I have to do that. And you don't see a way different. You don't see a way, a, like um, a different way of doing things. You feel like this is me. That's how I need to do. That's how I'm functioning here. But again, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't lie to yourself. There is always, always a way out. Nine of Wands. because it's coming in very fast. Seven of Swords here, King of Wands. Yeah, you definitely are a go-getter. I will do it, I will move, I will make it right, I will make it here and there. But Spirit says, piece by piece, small things go towards bigger things. Here you are. You know that, and you need to learn. There is an Aquarius here who need to learn that yes, we have highs and lows, but sometimes we need to learn how to do certain things. So that will not go to the ends or kind of like till the last drop. Absolutely. You, you might be very clear about this. 
but it's something here you kind of feel like I don't have that luxury to do I don't feel here yes you might have other people telling you things but you feel like well they don't have they don't know what they're saying okay I don't feel here for some of you the energy whatever I'm picking up here it's very much about you not about somebody or somebody who interfere with you okay Aquarius it's kind of like it's you about you so definitely here you know that whatever you need to do have consequences you you are clear about that because Queen of Swords is clear and for some of you definitely you need to learn to balance things out and mostly to balance life out the universe is helping you and it's for your own best to help you to do that but if you don't learn the the way you need to the universe will show you their ways you 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 kind of are aware of that because this is you so don't push yourself too hard don't push yourself to till you cannot do it okay all right Aquarius very clear for many of you and for some of you definitely there is love coming in here you might feel like not ready for it but that's just a very fine line but right now it's all about you again take your time go slow okay all right let's see here Aquarians you might deal here with a Leo we'll get some messages in the extended about this Leo and their energy towards you another Aquarian towards you and a Pisces and underneath we have a Taurus if you in any form or shape you are dealing with any of this zodiac signs I will see you in the extended getting more messages from them and otherwise thank you so much for watching being here on the channel love and light to all of you see you next time bye for now